taking a trip down the river Otter in search of an elusive, water-loving mammal. No, it's not the otter. It's an animal that hasn't lived in the wilds of England for 500 years. Centuries ago, our countryside was home to brown bears, wild lynx, wolves, moose and beavers. The second biggest rodent in the world, beavers were hunted to extinction in Britain in late medieval times because everyone was after their warm, waterproof fur. Beaver fur hats were all the rage. Even Henry VIII wore one. But in this tiny part of Devon, they've come back all on their own. And no one quite knows how they got here. I'm going to be introduced to the beavers, hopefully by a man who's been tracking them, Tom Buckley. Nice to meet you. Do you want to hop in my canoe? I'll give you a lift and we'll go and have a look. Oh, that would be lovely. See Excellent, thank find. you. Finding them, though, is not going to be easy. Tom, where are the beavers going to be right now? Well, it's daylight, so the beavers will be asleep now because they're nocturnal, and they'll be in their underground burrows. Now, beavers are normally famous for building dams and lodges, which they live in, but these ones are unusual. They've built their homes deep in the riverbank. The entrances are underwater, so we can't even see them. So if the beavers are hidden away underground, that's going to make it really difficult for us to track them today, isn't it? Absolutely. But we can still look for telltale signs of their activity. And Tom knows just where to start. Their homes may be underground, but they have to come up for food. Good job I've brought my wellies. <laughs> oh, I see. Very obvious sign of beaver activity. I see what you mean. That is exactly what you'd imagine. And then come over here. <laughs> look at this one over here. And oh, that's from the other side. They've done all of this. They've done all of this within the last few days. Look, you can see their teeth marks. Yeah, they've got two very large teeth. Top at the and top bottom. and at the bottom. They'll turn the head sideways to get in and they'll go like this, chiseling out big chunks like this. But they don't eat the wood they're chewing. Their dinner is the soft leaves and branches at the top. To reach them, they chew through the trunk to chop the tree down. No mean feat for a rodent. So how big are they? Well, a full-grown beaver can be the size of a Labrador. Really? Yes. His legs I thought are they were kind of otter size. <laughs> oh, golly, no. So chances are very high they might be around tonight. Fairly high. All that's left to do is wait for the sun to set and prepare all our equipment designed to help us film the beavers in the dark. Our night vision camera, our thermal imaging camera to detect their heat, and the most high-tech piece of kit of all, super strength torch. Well, that was the plan, but in fact, we didn't need any of that because something much more exciting happened before it even got dark. Rewind. OK, it's just getting dark, so we're heading back to where we think the beavers might be. Steve, our cameraman, set up ahead. I'm sure he just gestured to shush and come over, so he might have found them already. I've got his steak and ale pie with me, though. He said shush, he said shush, that means there might be beavers can see it's just chomping away at the grass. That's the smallest of the baby beavers. I was going to say it looks very tiny. It is, it's only this big. Beavers live together in their family groups. This is one of three beaver babies, known as kits. I can hear him gnawing. That's it, yeah. When it's nice and quiet, that's one of the things we have to listen for, to tell us where they are. This kit is just four months old. At a month old, it will have stopped feeding on its mother's milk and started eating soft grasses like this. Can you hear me? 
They're perfectly adapted for the water. Their big, flat, muscly tail helps them balance and their webbed back feet propel them along the river. It's fantastic. Look how cute it is. Yes, it's lovely. It's a big, brown, furry body. Oh. Oh, that is so cute. Beautiful, isn't it? To see it like that, it's really... Don't go away, come back. As the light fades, the beavers head off in search of food elsewhere on the river. Wow, how incredible to think this animal hasn't existed here in the wild for hundreds of years. I feel so privileged to be one of the first people in the country to see it back in its natural habitat after all this time. Oh, welcome back, beavers.